Oh, hey, everybody. How you doing? It's Henry. I'm Mowers and Blowers. Good morning. I got my spacer for the one inch straight shaft on the Honda GX340 engine. This is the tapered spacer adapter that you would put on there so that it would fit the uh, clutch from the golf cart. So little piece of the stuff coming together, right? Uh, this was only like, uh, I forget, $10, $15, something like that. Anyway, I'm uh, painting my um, FDE AR9 olive drab green because I want to. I've got lots of packages here. So when I come back, I'm gonna be doing a mailbag. Now, where, I'm, where am I going now? Well, I'm gonna go to Home Depot to go get some olive drab green paint so I can spray my rifle upper. And then uh, on the way there, a guy might wanna see my Toro Recycler personal paste, the one I have listed for 225 had a bunch of biters and uh, all they want to do is offer me 150. Well, first of all, it's a recycler, auto choke, with a nice bag, rear wheel drive, self-propelled, and it's a personal pace where you push down the handles and it goes at your pace. That's like a top of the line thing, you know what I mean? So uh, 225 is what I have it at. I might take 200, but we'll see what happens. I'm driving the van with the mower in it pass by this place on the way to Home Depot. If he buys it, great. If he doesn't buy it, I don't care. Uh, so I'll, uh, I'll see you later. So yeah. Just another guy wasting my time. So back home I go. Uh, I do have to go to the eye doctor later, get my yearly prescription filled. And then uh, I got a whole day ahead of me. So, you know, don't you hate when people waste your time like that? But you know what? That's the nature of the business, if you will, buying and selling or, you know, flipping lawnmowers and stuff. You're gonna run into people that are gonna waste your time, you know? And so you just brush it off, it's not a big deal. Anyway, I got this package in the mail today. Uh, it's from my friend Dan Charbonneau from uh, East Passage, Nova Scotia, Canada, eh? And he told me he was going to send me some stuff. I have no idea what they are, but he always sends me some really nice gifts. And the thing why I, I uh, appreciate it even more from Dan is that shipping from Canada to the United States, yes, it's, a, it's just across the border, right? But it's expensive, really expensive. So I don't even want to tell you what he spent sending this to me, but I really appreciate it. And um, that's why I wanted to open this up so you guys could see what Dan sent me. Um, it's been a great subscriber probably since I began, you know. Ooh. A gun cleaning pad. Awesome. It's exactly what I needed. Because, you know, I just, I just usually just clean it right here and it makes a complete mess. Holy cow. <laughs> this whole episode could just be on what Dan got me. Oh! This is a air compressor, three inch cutoff tool. I actually had one of these a while ago when I uh, dabbled with air tools, but the little machine that I had before just wasn't strong enough to power the tools properly, you know? But now I got that big monster commercial one there. This ought to be great. That's cool, Dan. Thank you. So we've got like two other boxes over here. Three other boxes. So we got a... Wow. I see. Titanium coated um, step drill set. So small hole to big hole to bigger hole. You know what I mean? Yeah, I definitely need these too. And the thing is, what's cool about it is that my subscribers know what I need. 
because they've been watching for the past three years and like, well, Henry doesn't have that. He could have used that. And I'll tell you what, I sit there sometimes and I go, man, I wish I had that. You know what I mean? It's like that. So amazing. Thank you, buddy. There's another box. <laughs> it's like Christmas. I should have just waited until Christmas to open these. You know what I mean? They're individually wrapped. Oh, another one, a quarter inch compact air die grinder. Let's open it up and see. It's got a lot of parts on it. Oh, this is, look how small that is. That's small. That's gonna be handy, man tool to get the uh, thing off, instructions, <laughs> get out of here, we don't need instructions, get about it, another tool, instructions, thanks Dan, appreciate that man, these are going to have come in handy, which means I'm going to have to start getting used to firing up the old air compressor, you know what I mean, <laughs> I know you know what I mean darling, and you look marvelous, and the last box here says Mastercraft on it. <laughs> what did I just talk about in the past few episodes, fellas? There it is. That's a die and tap kit. Exactly what I needed for when I was planning on drilling and re-threading what I thought was a threadless um crankshaft in the honda gx340 engine but as we figured out along the way uh it's already um tapped and died um you know what i mean uh, i'm not good at this but now that i have the proper tools to do it uh in my next project where i do have to make threads on certain shafts i'll be happy to know that uh, i'll have this kit with me thank you very much dan um this is Dan's uh, lawn maintenance and snow clearing over in Nova Scotia, Canada. And uh, if you guys uh, are in the area, he's a great guy. Look him up. Lawn maintenance and snow clearing. Dan Charbonneau. Shout out to Dan. Thank you so much, Dan. I'm putting my buddy Dan C on the Mowers Blowers Wall of Fame. Fits perfectly right there. It's got a little magnet card there. It's very cool. Thanks, Dan. Also, a subscriber, Eric Hines, saw my video on trying to repair the backpack blower and the Poulon. He says he wants this. And I says, dude, this is still pretty heavy. It's a gas engine machine, for instance, you know? Uh, it'll cost you $25, $35 just to ship the damn thing down there. You know what I mean? <laughs> the cheapest mail. And so, uh, like I said, I only wanted to sell this locally for like uh, 20 bucks or something. So I figured 50 bucks total would be okay. Definitely wouldn't cost me 50 bucks to ship this thing. But we'll see if we can take the handle off and put it in a big box. And I'll get it down to you, Eric. So I took the tubes off. So it makes the box a little smaller. But remember, I just cleaned up my garage and threw the hundreds of big boxes that I uh, thought I would need but never really needed it so I threw it all away now I need it and I don't have a box I'll have to come up with something hey, hey how about that just went to the eye doctor now I'm going into Home Depot and getting some olive drab green paint look at that they actually took the gates away because it didn't make any sense. They were never locked anyway. And unfortunately, I'm here and they have nothing near the uh, olive drab green that I want. These are all too green. Can you believe that? And they don't have one can of Krylon either. So their, their paint department sucks. I'm not going to be able to get what I need. Can you believe that? Came all the way over here to get it too. They're not really thinking about the snow either. They have this old thing from last year, this old thing from last year, 
And they've got nothing here. Ooh, a wheel. All kinds of electric real bees, electric DeWalt's, electric Makita's, electric Toro's. There's zero gas machines here. Ooh, except for a Murray push mower with a uh, 450E engine, Briggs, 199. 199 for push mower. Other than that, all electric, see? Electric snow blowers, electric DeWalt's. <laughs> they don't sell too many DeWalt's, it's full. And that's it, there is no gas machines here. Looking for a bolt for my uh, Honda GX340 engine. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's 3 8 24 thread, six or seven inches long. But these are all metric. M10, 1.25 by 110 millimeter. No idea what that is. So I wasn't able to get my paint. Couldn't find the bolt I needed. I'd have to just order that stuff online. Uh, no snow blowers, no lawnmowers. It's really kind of sad. So I don't feel good that I didn't get anything really done <clears throat> other than open Dan Charbonneau's gift box. Uh, I have to go get that paint. So I'm gonna go to Home Depot and Walmart. And unfortunately I have to go with my wife to Costco to do some shopping and get some new glasses. But look at this. I just sucked up all my leaves just the other day with the Toro 616Z. And it's only been a day or two completely inundated with leaves again. And there's still plenty more to go in the tree. But I got to try to clean this up just a little bit. Little bits at a time, you know. You're not expected to get it all. But I have to clean it up later. And I forgot to mow the lawn in the back. So that's going to be my day today, <laughs> doing some landscaping and shopping. I'm at Costco. Look at this. Greenworks Pro Electric. $699.99? What? Are you crazy? So I'm home. I feel like I spent all day shopping with my wife. Now that we're home, I got to take care of this. I couldn't find any paint at Walmart. I couldn't find it at the other Home Depot. So I'm just gonna order it online. Now I'm gonna whip out the Toro 616 and try to suck up as much leaves as possible. Not all of it, because there's still more to go. So as you guys saw, 
Robert, the UPS guy from Holbrook came by to pick up the Toro recycler that I promised I would fix for him. Uh, as we were loading that into his car, he pulls this Scotch by John Deere mower out and he says, I found it on the street the other day. I figured I'd bring it to you while, <laughs> when I come see you. So uh, nice guy, always thinking of me. I appreciate all the contributions from the subscribers. I've gotten to know quite a, know quite a bit of them over the years and uh, you make friends and stuff and I just think it's fantastic. Uh, anyway, I'm not gonna get around to this. Um, it's pretty rusted, transmission's kind of seized. All the cables are Dunsky, and uh, this is one of those older, it's the model before the quantum engines, you know? So this is, while this looks okay in, in the shape it is. Uh, while it's not ter in terrible shape, right? If you look at the wheels, they're decent. You can tell this thing was left outside for most of its life. Everything here is seized and uh, rusted up. Primer bulb is Dunsky, it's all cracked. This is the old Intec model, 6.5 with the, this was actually one of the first mowers, the kind of mower that I got my very first mower ever on how I got started. But look, the deck is kind of okay, you know? But uh, the problem is this thing, uh, the bagger system's a pain in the butt. It comes with one of those like lawn tractor type chutes, molded plastic that comes out here. And then a bagger attaches to that thing here. But, uh, you know, it's tough to find those things and uh, this probably would just be I don't think transmission works you know probably just be a push mower uh, I probably use it for parts or something like that I know I still have some gas in here might as well try to use it up wonderful little start it's the one that has the starter that hangs up all the time find out So not bad, huh? Pretty good day. Didn't do too much, but this is like a subscriber contribution video, you know? Gifts and tools from Dan Charbonneau over in Nova Scotia, Canada. And also to see Robert from Holbrook come by and contribute yet another mower to the channel. Tried to find some paint today, went shopping with the wife, got some new glasses that you guys will see eventually. And uh, used the Toro 616Z to just really quick get rid of all the leaves in the front or at least most of it you can't possibly get them all because it's just gonna fall again so we'll do a massive cleanup when all the leaves have fallen off the trees use the beige craftsman started right up <laughs> remember that's a Henry rebuilt color courage engine the one that took me three billion episodes to make hope you guys enjoyed today's video we'll see you guys next time on mowers and blowers See you guys next time on Mowers and Blowers. Hey, if you guys enjoyed the video, remember to give me a like. Also, comment below. Subscribe. Remember, it doesn't cost anything to subscribe. It's free, right? Also, hit that little bell. That way you'll get post notifications whenever there's a new video and you won't miss out on any of them. 
Remember to follow my Instagram and Facebook, as well as if you'd like to donate a dollar or two, paypal.me slash mowers and blowers. Really appreciate all the support. Also, to keep the videos coming every day, support the channel. Bye.